is Michelle Long and I'm the owner of Long for Success. I'm a CPA and an advanced certified pro advisor. I wanted to create this quick video to help you when you're trying to tie out the profit and loss by job and make sure that all expenses have been assigned a job. Whenever you're doing job costing, you should always assign everything to a job, even if you assign it to a job called overhead or admin. Now, one of the things you might notice when you're trying to tie out your reports is if you create a profit and loss by job, and we've got it for this year today, and then you create a regular profit and loss report for this year to date. Let me go ahead and put these side by side so you can see them. One of the things that you might notice is if you look at the total on the two reports, your total income on my P&L by job, it's 163. My P&L, it's 166. Sometimes those numbers don't agree. You might have some things that weren't assigned to a job. You, so you can look through and compare and see where you have differences. It can be tedious and time consuming to try to find those differences. So I'm going to show you a quick way that you can find those differences. One way is if you're using the premier contractor edition. If you go to reports, contractor reports, there is a report called expenses not assigned to a job. Now this will cover expenses and allow you to go through, drill down on these and assign these to a customer or a job but this doesn't include income. And in our case, we have income that's not tying out either. Our income doesn't agree. What you can do in this situation is you wanna be able to see the profit and loss by customer or job. So you'll wanna change your columns here to say by customer or job, and then scroll over to the very far right, and when they don't agree, you're gonna see a column called no name. This is transactions that was not assigned a customer or job name. You can drill down on that and go ahead and double click, drill down, and sure enough, you'll see this sales receipt was not assigned to a customer. You would then need to go ahead and assign that to a customer, click save and close, and continue doing that for all of them. So I'm gonna do it on this next one here. Double click to drill down, assign it to a customer or job. And now I'm doing this on sales receipts. You would need to do this also on expenses that were paid that were not assigned to a customer or job. You want to keep doing that until your no name column is zero and your total income agrees to your total income on the P&L. Now, if you look here, you'll notice our cost of goods sold agrees um, between the P&L by job and uh, the main P&L. Some companies will just stop there and they just want to tie it out through gross profit. Other companies may want to tie out the full P&L. So as you scroll down, you can see our job expenses over here. We have 76, 143, and over here we have 75. So you can see that there are some differences. Again, you'd want to drill down into each one of these and assign those to a customer job. So I hope this video has helped you to see how you can tie out the customer, um, the profit and loss by job to the main profit and loss report. I hope that's been helpful.